The bitwise operators change integer values just like the arithmetic operators, but the bitwise operators do it by diddling with the bits. They only work for the integer types. There are no bitwise operators for the floating point numbers. Now there's one unary bitwise operator. The tilde character is the ones complement operator. It changes all the zeros to ones and all the ones to zero. There are actually three shift operators. The simplest is the shift to the left. This operator causes the bits in the variable named A to be shifted to the left by the number of positions specified in the variable B. For example, to shift the bits in X to the left by two positions, you could do this. When the bits are shifted, any bits shifted on the left are lost and zeros are inserted on the right. This example shows the before and after of shifting a byte two positions to the left. There is also a shift to the right. The bits in the variable A are shifted to the right by the number of positions specified by the expression B. For example, to shift X two positions to the right, you do this. Now this is a signed shift. That is, if you shift a negative number, it will remain negative. The bit on the left is duplicated to fill the new spots being created. So that means the sign of the number is extended to fill the space. The bits shifted off to the right are lost. This example shows a byte being shifted two positions to the right and having its sign extended. In this one, the variable on the left has its bits shifted to the right, but the sign bits are not duplicated. Zeros are inserted on the left to fill the space left by the bits being shifted out. This example shows a byte being shifted to the right and not having its sign extended. And there are some logical operators. The ampersand placed between two integers gives you a bitwise and of the two values. The resulting value has a bit set where both of the two original values had their bits set. Otherwise, the result is zero. This example shows the result of two bytes being anded together. The only places there are ones in the result is where there were ones in both of the input values. A vertical bar between two integer expressions will result in a value that has a one where either of the two input values had a one. In this example, you can see that the only bits left zero in the output were the ones that were both zero in the input values. There is one other, the exclusive or, sometimes written as one word spelled XOR. The operator is the up caret character. It's on the same key as the number 6 on your keyboard. An exclusive OR results in a 1 where one or the other of the input values were 1, but not both. That is, a bit in the input value being the same will result in 0. If they're different, it produces 1.